What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfixie and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time for kind of some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. Today's video, it's going to be a bit of a strange one. Lads, I'm going to be honest with you straight up. I had a bit of a shambles um, <laughs> and there was supposed to be an episode like five days ago or something, uh, which was us completing the BBM mission. So basically, I'll fill you guys in before we begin today's episode. Um, like a couple of weeks ago, Roblox sent me this great big massive box and I did an unboxing on the video, uh, on my channel even. And then like a week later, Roblox sent me a second box and I was like, oh my goodness me. Should we do like an unboxing video? So the first one, we did like an unboxing and then the second one, ooh, gifts. Let me grab these bad boys. Uh, yeah, the second one, it was like this great big massive box, but there was only like a custom Roblox hoodie in there, which was amazing. I posted a picture on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, it wasn't worth doing an unboxing video, but I set it all up to do an unboxing video. And in doing so, I have to turn my microphone up super loud. And then after I forgot to turn it down, I recorded a Beast Swarm episode and I only realized halfway through and I had to turn it down. And basically the first like 20 minutes of that were just horrible. Oh, and then there was a New Year's code, which was Happy New Year. I don't even know if that's valid anymore, but I did that in the video. But by the time I got around to it, maybe it's expired. Oh, it's been a shambles. Um, <laughs> so basically... Today's episode is going to be a bit of a mishmash as to the footage that I could save from that episode and then doing a few other bits and pieces. So, where do we even begin? Okay, so basically we're beginning here by completing the ninth time we've done the stump snail uh, for the BBM mission. Now the BBM mission is the final mission that we've got from this winter update and it's for the Mondo Bubble Bee Man mask which is located in the 30B zone. Uh, over the moon parkour. So the only thing we had left to do in that was to take down old Stumpy for the ninth time. We only had to do him once for the mission. But uh, yeah, basically, <laughs> I logged into a server and then as soon as I went in the server, a stick bug was summoned and I was like, oh, I'll do the stick bug. Why not? And then the stick bug spawned a totem in the stump field whilst I already had the stick bug down to super low health because I was just about to record him being defeated in the episode and I accidentally defeated him. <laughs> So that kind of got ruined, I guess. But as you can see here up on the screen, we only actually got a bronze shell amulet from it. So that was the ninth time we'd done it. I did it by complete accident. I would have liked to have used baby love for it just in case. Uh, but the only good thing about that is we did actually get 25 glue from the stump snail, which is awesome sawsomes. And yeah, that was the ninth time that we took him down. So the good news is as well, is that in this episode, we're actually going to be taking him down for the 10th time. Because in the time it's taken me to make this episode, he's then respawned again. Uh, and I've got him down to low health, which is going to be kind of cool. Although, we also in that episode were supposed to see, <laughs> boom, this was our first ever mythical sprout that I've ever seen. So this didn't spawn in my server. Now, this has happened loads and loads of times. So I've been like on Twitter or whatever. And like people have tweeted me like, James, there's a mythical sprout. Quick, 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 come. And uh, yeah, I always miss it by like an hour or half an hour or whatever. But this time around, I managed to catch it within like a minute. And I was invited into the server. I joined in and boom, we did our first ever mythical sprout. So this was so cool to see. I have never actually seen one myself playing. Uh, but this was just one that spawned in someone else's server. So thank you so much for inviting me. We did the mythical sprout. And as you can see, lots and lots of awesome goodies. The cool thing about these as well is that uh, they drop star jelly. And this is something that I didn't actually know. So if you do want to get yourself some extra uh, gifted bees and you don't want to use your glitter to make them, then uh, yeah, if you keep your eyes out for the old mythical sprout, they're very rare. They're really, really rare. But uh, I thought I'd show you that anyway. So <laughs> we also have a section of the video later on here, which is actually going to cut to me doing the Mondo... Um, the Mondo Bumblebee Man hand in. So this is going to be like me talking from the past, but in a future video. We'll get to that in just a second. However, before we do this, it's just gone nighttime. And I think it's about time we take down old Stumpy for the 10th time. So I'm kind of wondering, is number 10 the magic number? Is it going to be the gold shell amulet? I'm going to try. I'm really, really going to try here, but I don't know what we're going to get. It's 350,000 health. So, basically, this is what I do. And I've mentioned this a few times, but I do have the Demon Mask, which gives us an extra percentage for B attack power. Um, but essentially, this is all about just hitting your Link tokens, hitting your Rage abilities, and hitting your Focus tokens. So, um, 
as we get started, basically, I'm just kind of hitting every single link token that we see. Usually the tokens spawn underneath the snail, so sometimes you might miss a couple of them. But what I want to do is I want to build my rage up to 5 and I want to build my focus up to 10. So of course, having a vicious bee is so important if you want to take down the stump snail it helps a ton um but yeah obviously i'm going to be able to take it down quicker than most people because i've got like a fairly decent hive um but it's just a case of sticking with it really so as you can see there i've got my rage up to five i have four rage bees so that really really helps and i do also have quite a few different bees that have the focus ability um and yeah there we go so i've got a five stack of rage uh, and a nine stack of focus if we could get that up to ten that would be amazing but basically all I'm trying to do is I'm just slowly moving around the field and I'm trying to keep these two topped up. So boom, there we go. I've got 10 times focus, which gives us a 30% plus critical chance. And I've got a five plus B attack power with my uh, rage tokens. So yeah, this is all I do. I literally wander around in a circle. We're gonna get him down to about 20,000. We're gonna jump out the field, hit ourselves a baby love, jump back in, and old Stumpy is gonna fall for the 10th time. Oh geez. Ah, so as you can see there, this is a perfect example. I took my eye off it for a couple of seconds and I actually lost my 10 times focus stack. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, for me anyway, that's the thing that slows us down is if we lose that critical chance, uh, it just goes a little bit slower. You know, the more critical chance, the more criticals you're going to hit, the more damage you're going to do. Um, but okay, he's super duper low health now. Oh, old Stumpy, the 10th time. What are you going to give us? Please give us a gold. I beg of you, old Stumpy. I beg of you. You're 25 million each time. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, baby love. Go, 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 go. Speed, speed. I don't know if the baby love really matters, to be honest with you. Maybe it slightly increases the drops that you get. I don't know, man. I'm just doing it now because it's superstition, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Here we go, lads. Old Stumpy for the 10th time. Come on on it. Come on. Believe in me. Believe in me. It's a silver shell. Oh. Oh. Why? Oh, look at that. We got a gold gifted egg, though. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, this is interesting. So let's check out what we got here. We got uh, 500 battle points, a gifted gold egg, a star jelly, 50 tickets, a diamond egg as well, which they only show four rewards. But remember, you do get more rewards. So just check your little um, chat box to see what you get. Uh, so let, let me do this again. Uh, gifted gold egg, star jelly times one, tickets times 50, diamond egg, uh, glue times 10, Royal Jelly times 50 and Gumdrops times 100. Sunflower Seeds times 20. A Magic Bean and 32 million honey. And a Sprout has literally just spawned in front of me. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and harvest these because I wanted to take a look at the damages. This is something that I've not actually ever seen before on a, a Shell Amulet. But it actually has a damage reduction. No way. I don't think I'm going to take it though. So, I mean, the goo is exactly the same at a 3%. Conversion amount, I lose that. Bond from battle, I'm not too fussed about. A damage reduction would be nice, actually. Stump field pollen, 31. Spider field, so no. We're going to keep our old amulets. Uh, but there we go, check that out. So that is the 10th time we've taken down old Stumpy. I was hoping it would be a gold, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I thought maybe the 10th time might have been a gold. But unfortunately, no. Oh, man. Well, you know what? To be honest with you, the thing I'm most pumped about is the 10 glue and the 100 gumdrops. So that's basically 12 glue. Uh, huh. Well, there we go. I was hoping for gold. But hey, old Stumpy will be back in three days, five hours. And we'll take him down all over again for the 11th time. Gifted gold egg, though. Kind of cool. See, this is one of the slight problems about my hive. It's kind of like... It's not like the best hive you'll ever see in the world. So basically... Because I'm a little bit sort of, I like to collect stuff. Like, I'm not like a hoarder or anything, but in like video games. <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a video game hoarder. I'm not a hoarder in real life, but in video games, I like to collect stuff. I don't know why, I've always done it. Uh, and I really like to collect stuff like this. But we've got a star egg, a gifted silver egg, three gifted gold eggs now. But the thing is, there's nothing we, like we can do with them. We're not going to evict a bee to put an egg in. And the gifted eggs aren't used for any crafting recipes like the diamond eggs are so for example we've got si seven diamond eggs here we could use those to make the diamond mask which I, I guess maybe we might do at some point we've got 16 silver eggs three gold eggs and there's not really much we can do with them apart from maybe do some crafting i kind of wish if there was like i don't know man i would exchange these gifted eggs for like glue <laughs> like straight up 
<laughs> if there was a way to like exchange them for advanced resources, I would totally do it. I know that may sound mad, but there's a case of like, we can't really do anything with them because we have one of each bee in gifted form. We have duplicates of some other ones, which are slightly more useful. Uh, and they're kind of just sitting in my inventory. Maybe at some point these might be used for an advanced crafting recipe. That would be kind of cool. But for now, anyway, I would swap all of these for glue. How many glue have we got right now? We've got... Uh, where are they? Glue? Glue? 668. Is my glue due? That is the question. Come on, glue. Are you due? 3, 2, 1. Ah, oh, 58 minutes. Why? Okay, so after we finished all that, next up, let's go and jump back into the past. And this is me, like a week ago it feels like, finally completing the BBM mission for the Mondo Bubble Bee Man Mask. Uh, so yeah, check this out. So here we go, man. This is the first time I've ever used one. Should we do it? Festive Bean? Oh, no, not Festive Bean. What am I doing? <laughs> Night Bell. Here we go. Three, two, one. Not thanks to your summon night time. Oh, you can hit like a chime. So the cool thing is as well is that this guarantees a vicious bee spike to spawn. Don't know where it is. Um, but yeah, let's go and do our mask. So I think, yeah, this is... I don't know how good this mask is, to be honest with you. So currently we've got the the demon and we've got the, um, the gummy. I think I can actually afford to get the diamond mask, but I'm kind of in two minds whether I should get it or not. I think maybe we will. It's oh! No! No! You didn't see that, right? Let's try this again, shall we? Boom! Here we go. Talk to Bubblebee Man. Oh, it's so sad. The BBM mission is done. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Here we go. Nice! You, you did it! Nice! That was sort of hard. Well, uh, I, I guess this is it. Merry Beesmas. Thanks for believing in me. Believe for believing in me? <laughs> Gonna put this really big mask on you now. Come talk to me again whenever you want to put it back on. It's not, like, super powerful, but it is a novelty. Okay. It shows that you did the hardest Beesma stuff in 2018. Yeah, I know, you get it, but whatever. Take a bunch of other stuff as well. Whoa, Beesma sausages. Are you kidding? Uh, oh, geez, hang on. Let me let me, uh, let me me read it from here. Uh, so we got the Mondo BBM mask. We got the fe a festive bean. Oh, we got a festive bean. Oh, no, please no more festive beans. <laughs> yeah, as I kind of mentioned, I'm going to share these on servers. Um just to kind of share the items out. I feel like that's what they were supposed to be for, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we got 122,000 treats, 21 sunflower seeds, oil, 39 blueberries, an ant pass, enzymes, red extract, 2 royal jelly, 41 strawberries, blue extract, 84 pineapples, 13 tickets, received 800 eviction tokens? What? Received a bumblebee jelly. Received three times bumblebee Nice, you saved bees. And 14 honey. On it. On it. Level with me here, dude. Did you mean to give people 800 eviction token? <laughs> so oh, jeez, it's massive as well. I've just noticed how big it is. So what do we get from this? We get 100,000 container space, a plus 50 conversion amount, 100% luck, 200 honey from tokens, and 1 plus B attack power. So obviously our other ones are much better, but it's like a novelty thing, isn't it? It's huge. <laughs> oh man. That's the weirdest quest rewards I've ever seen. 800 eviction tokens. They're 50,000 each, so they're not, ex they're not exactly expensive, but why would you ever... <laughs> would have picked 800 bees. <laughs> and then it's weird. You've got a bumblebee jelly and then three more bumblebee jelly and 14 honey. 14 honey. I mean, one four. 14. Amazing. Well, there you go. So we did do it. I've had loads of tweets like, James, James, have you done the BBM quest yet? The answer is yes. And I'm sorry, we did it ages ago, but I kind of messed everything up and it's taken me a while to get around to it. But we got there eventually which is the main thing. Uh, okay, so yeah, just before we finish here today, uh, just a very quick one. Uh, the Robux giveaway that we did is now officially over. So thank you so much to everyone who entered that. Um, hopefully if you guys kept an eye on my Instagram, which is where the event uh, took place. Uh, the, the draw has been taking place. It was 100% completely random. Uh, 10 of the winners have all been contacted. Currently, eight of which have claimed their codes and two of them I'm still waiting on. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for entering that. Um, overall, 
And the vast, vast, vast majority, everyone was super duper chill. And I really, really appreciate that. Like, I'll be honest, straight up, doing a giveaway is so stressful. Um, and it's something that I don't do that often, but I would like to do more of because it's always really nice to be able to give stuff out, you know, to, to, to people who watch your videos. And in this case, you know, Roblox, they sent me an email and basically they were like, hey, there's these codes here. You can use them if you want or you can hand them out. And I chose to hand them out. I don't know if every single YouTuber did, but I did. Um, and that's just logical. You know, you, you want to give those codes out to people. So we gave out 10,000 Robux. Uh, obviously, there's a case of the vast majority of people won't win. Uh, and the vast majority of the people were super duper chill. I did get a few comments which were like kind of rude, but it's okay. <laughs> like, I understand that's going to happen. The best thing to do is if you don't win something like that is always be kind, congratulate the winners, and then hopefully next time you might win it this next time. I don't know. There's, there's not so much I can do. I can't give codes to everyone. You know, like over 5,000 people entered this competition, which is way more than I expected. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that was super chill. Uh, and who congratulated the winners. Thank you to everyone who entered, of course. Uh, I really, really want to do more of these, despite, like, they're super duper stressful, and I tried to contact, like, everyone at exactly the same time, make sure everyone got their codes, um, and I just want to do it right. And there's only one of me. It's, like, it's super duper stressful, but, uh, yeah, just once again, thank you so much for entering, um, and, yeah, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on the emails with Roblox. I'm gonna see what else I can get you guys. If I can get you some more codes, I will 100% do that. Um, I've always tried to do this with developers and stuff, so I've contacted in the past like Slime Rancher and, and I can't even remember. Loads. Uh, and I just I just try and get stuff for you guys. So I'm really sorry if not everyone could win, but I will do my best to try and get some more codes for you in the future and I'll try and do it all over again. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button and if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, Thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rancy up!